Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a really quick like sit down video and show you guys what is in my Kate Spade purse. This is my first designer purse ever. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video, then you will have known that I got this for Christmas from my parents. Like I said, this is my very first ever designer purse just because like I am not a designer person. Like I don't need materialistic things. I can buy like a $20 purse from Walmart and be perfectly happy with that but it was really nice of them to gift this to me and I'm super excited but yeah I thought I would show you guys what's inside it so yeah let's go ahead and get started I have no idea what it is called but it is this kind of grayish color and it says Kate Spade right there it's got a long strap which I love because I love just wearing it like crossbody that's my kind of vibes I love how it's like not terribly small like it fits a lot of stuff and it can fit my phone and everything but it's also like not way too big because I rarely ever carry a purse if it's too big the only purses that I'll carry are like these size and smaller so it's absolutely perfect for me they nailed it the strap right here is adjustable it has like a buckle and you can move it up or down and then it also has a front pocket right there but yeah let's go ahead and see what's inside of it I do have it kind of stuffed full because I have started carrying a lot of stuff now that I have an actual bigger purse. I will link my previous what's in my purse bag here if you guys want to go check it out. I love that purse. I got it from TJ Maxx. It was like $15. But yeah, let's start off in this front pocket. I think I literally only have one thing in here maybe. So the first thing that I have in here is an RX bar. This is just like a little protein bar and I like to keep like a snack in my purse just in case, you know, I'm ever driving and, you know, get hungry or something happens where I'm like not able to get something to eat and I'm hungry. I always have a snack with me. This is the maple sea salt kind. I've never tried this kind, but I've tried other flavors of the RX bar and they're pretty good with very clean ingredients. So I always gotta keep a snack on me. And then if we open the big part here, the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is a mask, you know, 2022 and we still have masks, but yeah, this is just a pink, mask i think my husband got this for me from walmart i really like it it's like cotton it definitely needs washed look at all that makeup next i have some hand lotion and this is the avino daily moisturizing lotion this lotion feels so nice it literally makes my hands feel so moisturized and i really like it because it's like purse size i guess i have the same exact lotion in the bigger size in my car council Council? Is that the word? Console. Car console. This is actually my husband's. I actually stole it from him because I wanted it for my purse. So it's like literally almost five o'clock and I worked basketball all day today and I got this out of my purse like three different times to use. So it comes in very, very handy. And then next I have this fingernail file kit thing. This has been passed down from purse to purse to purse to purse. But I don't know if I can ever part with it just because it's so handy. Um, but you got some clippers, some scissor things, and then a file. Oh, what just fell? This little cuticle thing just fell out. These are also super handy to keep in your car, in your purse, whatever. I always get like really bad cuticles or something and I always like try and pick it, but I can never pick it. And then I try to bite it and I can never bite it. So these come in very handy when you're not home to be able to like get easy access to your clippers. So that's why I love this little kit thing. And then next in the main pocket, I have my new wallet that I got actually. I ordered this from Amazon and it's nothing fancy. Like this literally was like $9.99 I think. I think the brand of it is called Fur Art. It's got a little slit here on the back for my license. This is my favorite part about it because well I felt like I had so many cards, but then when I got this thing, I feel like I don't have that many cards at all. But you unzip it and it's like a card wallet because literally that's all I need it for is all my cards that I have. It came with this little hook dilly thing that I guess you can attach it to here and just you know carry it on this chain and then yeah it's literally just all these like card slots. I have my insurance cards, my debit card, and two credit cards and yeah I love it. It's super convenient. You just unzip it, open it up, grab a card and it's literally like a filing folder for cards. Cards. So very very handy and small and perfect. It doesn't really you know match my purse But I'm not that into purse matching and stuff like that. So it works really great for me And then 
next in here is like a little open like pocket so in here I have my car key obviously and this is my key to my 2017 Ford Explorer so always got to keep that in my purse and then next I keep this claw clip in that same pocket just because you never know when you're out and you need to like throw your hair up because it's like windy or it's driving you crazy or it just gets like rainy and frizzy and you just need to like throw it up so I keep a claw clip in my purse so I can just throw it up wherever I'm at and then next in my little side pocket I keep my airpods these are the third generation airpods and again I got these for Christmas from my parents these are my first ever airpods that I've ever had as well so they're just kind of you know hitting me with all the newbies things I honestly love these and I never knew I wanted them until I actually got them now I am obsessed with them like I use them all the time I always like to keep them in my purse because last year Jared got me a pair of headphones for my, or not headphones, are these called headphones? I don't know. Jared got me a pair of headphones for Christmas as well and I literally don't know where they're at. So I always try and keep these in my purse just so that I know that that's where they're at and they're safe and I'm not going to lose them. Got my AirPods. And then next we have a little zipping pouch right here. And then, ooh, I have some change. I did not know I had money in here. Okay, well it looks like I have 25, 50, 75. Ooh, a dollar, a dollar 25. A dollar and 29 cents. Heck yes. I did not know I had any change in there. So I'm actually gonna put that in the change jar that we have in our bedroom just because I don't like to put a whole lot of change in my bag. I just feel like if I make that a habit, my purse will literally weigh like 800 pounds. So I try and keep all of our change in the change jar that we have in our room. So yeah, next is basically like just all like makeup stuff, which again, all these makeup items were like passed down from purse to purse to purse to purse. Oh my God, my battery is beeping at me. Um, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mac Matte lipstick in the shade coconut. This is literally so old. It's probably expired by now. It's almost gone too. Like that's literally all I have. But I love this thing. I think it's so perfect for a purse because it is mini and it, you know, fits anywhere inside your purse. Next, I also have a, another lipstick. I have so many lipsticks in my purse because I will put on a lipstick in my makeup room and then if I'm going out somewhere and I'm gonna be gone for a while, I'll take that lipstick with me so that if it fades or comes off when I eat or something, I can just reach in my purse and apply it again so it's like the same shade and then I just never take them out so I just keep adding to my purse. But this one is the Stella Stay All day liquid lipstick in the shade biscotti and I love this I got this from Marshall's for super cheap and it is more drying but I actually really love the Stella stay all day lipsticks next we have the NYX this is milky gloss in the shade cookies and milk and this is not like a liquid lipstick this is a gloss and it's like a more of a cool tone gloss I'm wearing it right now which I haven't worn it for a while but I always like to keep a gloss in my purse as well and then next I have some eyelash tweezers and some eyelash glue this glue probably needs thrown away because I can guarantee you that it's very old yeah I can barely even like undo it but I mean it's still worth works for like a purse glue and I like keeping these in my purse because I cannot tell you it literally happened to me today where I'm out somewhere and the inner corners of my lashes start to come off it's so convenient to have this in your purse where you can just go to the bathroom slap some glue on there and fix your lash and so it like won't bother me the rest of the day so having an extra set of lash tweezers and glue in my purse is a game changer and if you don't have it in your purse I seriously suggest it okay okay and then lastly I keep some kiss brush on nail glue in my purse I don't wear press-ons very often but I literally just did my nails right before this because it is my birthday weekend and I wanted to have some nails done when I do wear press-ons you never know when they're gonna come off the one literally popped off right when I was setting up to film so I always keep some nail glue in my purse because I hate when I am somewhere and one of my nails pops off and I have like 
one missing nail. Like if I have one missing nail, I'm gonna immediately wanna take all the rest of them off unless I'm somewhere where I can put some nail glue on there and slap it back on. So having nail glue in my purse has been as well a lifesaver. So you don't even have to have press on nails. Like even if you like chip your nail or something and you need to like glue it back together or one of your like acrylics or your dips fall off, you can always like slap this on there until you get somewhere where you can get it fixed or you know, take the rest of your nails off. So yeah, that is everything that I keep in my Kate Spade purse. Maybe I will try to find the link of this and put it down in the description box if you guys are interested in this purse. If I cannot find it, I apologize. But yeah, I'm really gonna try. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Bubba, you can't just pop up in the middle of me filming. That's so weird. They're like, where did that Bubba come from? Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much.